You all right? I've got two bacon butties, two coffees, and a cheeky little cake for later. You're turning into a right feeder, do you know that? Keep chucking food at me. Yeah, well, someone has to. You want your painkillers? I'm on it. All right. You're worse than Mum used to be. What? Is Ross in? Ross, it's Joel Tate. Are you in? No. Actually, what does he want? You've got five minutes. Enough with the pity looks. Get on with it. How's it going? Well, I've just had a skin graft. Most of my family are dead. I can't work and I've got bills to pay. So apart from that, brilliant. That's actually why I'm here. I want to help. So until you're better, I'm cancelling the rent. You don't do anything for nothing. It's all about the cash. It's what gives. Well, after everything you've been through, I want to try and do something to help. Yeah, right. Tell you what, why don't you go set up a web page while you're at it? Could I have fun my next skin graft. It's not like that. Has Debbie put you up to this? No. Debbie and I are over. Since when? Last night. She said she didn't want anything to do with me, and I don't blame her. Well, I'm glad she found the show through you. You'll find the new bird soon enough. Your kind of cash, you'll be fighting them off. If Debbie has dumped you, go and crack on with a few other girls and get it out of your system like a normal bloke instead of coming round here. Debbie's got nothing to do with this. I'm trying to do a good thing here. Yeah. Well, I would rather starve than owe you. Beat. What he said. That well, was nice for you to pay a visit, but. The office still stands. Think about it. Are you sure about this, bro? I mean, we are skint. We'll manage. Yeah, we manage a lot better if we didn't have to pay rent. It wouldn't just be rent, though, would it? There'd be a payoff. Sooner or later, he's going to want his money's worth. We'll do this on our own. OK, kid. I'll pack, please, Rebecca. Coming up. How's Ross? I'll let you give her stuff. I do, Pete. I really worry about him. I know you don't believe me, and I know you think that all I do is hurt him. If I could turn back the clock, I would. Yeah, well, he was sound. Until your ex tipped up. Joe? Why was he bothering you? He wanted to let us off the run. Reckons he was sorry for what happened and wanted to help. What, and he didn't want anything from you? It seemed genuine enough. It looked pretty miffed when Ross wanted to do one, though. Typical Ross. Well, they don't want to be answering to him, do they? Yeah, well, you can't feed off your principles, can you? Couldn't run with the cash, to be honest. There you are. Half a bit of shandy. Sorry, it was a pint. Of course it was. Pint a bit of shandy. Lager, actually. Well, I never thought much of your bloke. I always thought he was an arrogant prat. Turns out he's human after all. I'll tell Ross you're asking after him. Don't even think it. What? If Joe is being nice, it'll be for a reason. Oh, well, last night, maybe it taught him something. Don't fall for it again. He won't change. Money is all he cares about. Just like his dad. <laughs> 